So Shuan Head is a very, very popular YouTuber who is probably best known for making anti-SJW, anti-feminist type of content. And the odds are that if you've somehow managed to find my content, you've definitely... So Shuan Head, if you guys don't know, so Lauren Chin is like uh, huge, but Shuan Head is way, way bigger than Lauren Chin. Okay, so this is Lauren, uh, Shuan Head, this is Lauren Chin. Shoe and Head is way, way more popular. And she used to be more on the uh, anti-SJW side, right? But she's recently been influenced by people like Vosh. And now she's more on the socialist side. So she got, she basically did a one, well, it like more, she has more leftist narratives compared to what she was before, right? We at least heard of her. She is huge, way bigger than I would ever hope to be. But what's interesting about Shu is that her videos used to be really focused on cultural issues, things like mansplaining, the pink tax, and stuff like that. But lately, it seems like she's more interested in hard politics. And in terms of politics, even though Shu is probably best known for being anti-woke, she is a socialist. And no, I don't mean social democrat. She is just literally a socialist. And since I re I like how she thinks that's like a slur. Because here's the thing. I don't like socialism, okay? Um, but I don't like... Be like, oh, you're a socialist. Like, you're a real socialist. Like, as if that's like a... Like, it could be... It could, it, we could disagree. Like, you know, I don't... I don't think that's like... Calling somebody a socialist is, means, like, they're bad or anything like that. Like, I don't hate socialists. We just disagree. It's fine. Right? Like, like you know what? Yeah, she's she's actually a socialist. Yeah, guys, an, act, an actual socialist. Like, that's not like a, <laughs> that's not like a negative thing. Really don't I mean, it is. I mean, I disagree with them, but it's not like I don't think less of somebody just because they're wrong, because I think they're wrong about something. Okay. be accused of misconstruing anyone else's beliefs in this episode, I have screenshots to back this up. So here we have a chat log from what looks like a Discord server, and just in case anyone isn't familiar with a Discord server... Guys, we have a Discord server. Link to our Discord server is in the description. Aces Republic's Discord server, join. They're kind of like chat rooms, so it's very different than something like a DM, which would be more private, and I, I definitely wouldn't be okay with someone leaking those. But at one point, after being asked, why are you still so hesitant to call yourself a socialist, besides the PR thing, she replied, I just don't want to LARP as something I don't understand enough. Socialism on paper would be neat, but it's not going to happen, so we should get the country as close as possible, like the Nordic countries. To which the other person asked, and if we do get to the point where the Nordic countries are, then what? Would you be a socialist? And Shu said, yeah, most likely. So when she, when Shuan had said this in, in the Discord server, people screenshotted this as like, oh my god, we got her, we got her, she's a socialist, ah! Like this was like, this was like being shared by so many people as if like, they caught her red-handed. So the other person replied, so you're a socialist. To which she replied, no, I'm a social democrat with the little echo parentheses thing. I know the term socialist is used against left-wing people a lot to kind of conjure up this red scare type of thing. Oh, there you go. Good job. So yeah, it's a red scare thing. But just know that when I say socialist in this context and in regard to shoe on head, I'm, I'm actually, I'm being serious. She's a socialist. Now, oh last okay, week, fine. or at least I think it was last week, I did a video responding to the Gravel Institute. Guys, if you're a socialist, um, even though I'm not a socialist, you're very welcomed in uh, an atheist republic, um, and we're not going to demonize you for being a socialist, okay? Who are pretty much trying to be the socialist equivalent of PragerU. And one of the videos in particular... Even commies! Even commies! You're... I mean... I don't know why you're a commie, but even if you're commie, you're completely welcomed in Atheist Republic community. Uh, you're so you're dead wrong, but you are welcome here, and we won't demonize you. We'll just make fun of your ideas. Particular of theirs that I responded to was see, like, see, it's not just me. Susanna is also saying, she's, "God, she's so pretty." Yeah, it's actually very distracting. How like it's very very pretty. Like she's like, oh my god, yeah about how big government is actually good and no that's not oversimplification on my part or anything like that it's actually advocating for big government keep that in mind going into wait who's saying big government guys have you ever seen a socialist actually say that we want bigger government 
Every time you hear big government, I mean, that's what it comes to for a lot of socialists, but they never say that we want bigger government. Really good. And no, that's not oversimplification on my part, anything like that. It's actually advocating for big government. Keep that mm. in mind going into this. Okay, this is so stupid, okay, because the, these are the same people that basically will justify the biggest government expenditure that is out there, which is military spending. I mean, big government, right? As much as socialists, yeah, socialists want a lot more government spending, they would never say we want bigger government. They're just, their specific programs that would cost more that the socialists want. So in those areas, the government is going to get bigger. But at least in the United States, the main people responsible for the biggest, for pro constantly promoting the biggest expense in government are right-leaning people, which is the military spending. This. And here is a particular clip that I think it's important you all see. Like Germany or Finland, that have lower rates of poverty and higher rates of economic mobility. Um, I can't remember the United States versus Germany, Finland. Okay. The American dream is more alive in these big government countries than in America. So she's saying big government as a way to like make fun of right-leaning people like, oh, you're against big government? Well, these people that have a lot more spending there's more um, American dream. I think what she's referring to is into social mobility, like wealth mobility, like being able to move from uh, one wealth class to another. She's saying like in these countries, that has been more possible than in the United States. And to be, and th I mean, and then that's what the American dream is. The American dream is that if you work hard enough, you, be, you will be able to succeed. You will be able to improve your life. And when it comes to wealth mobility, United, so that's the American dream, all right? But the in, United States is, to be fair, United States is better than most countries when it, make, when it comes to making that possible. But there are a lot of other countries that are better than United States, okay? Even though, I mean, it's really easy to be better than most countries. But again, a lot of these countries that she mentions, yes, they are... United States is below them when it comes to wealth mobility. But what this lady, I don't know who she is. Oh, this is from Gravel Institute. This lady is saying um, she's not proving that that's because of government spending. Than in America. At least not in this clip. There are a lot of differences. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so this is the important thing. Guys, so what happened, like, let's just be clear, right? When we moved from here, so she's talking about why is she talking about shoe on head right the reason why she's talking about shoe on head is because shoe on head and a whole bunch of other people took a clip from her video that lauren chen said something that is got very very controversial all right and she's trying to say that they're lying about her but before she defends it herself she had to tell everyone she had to tell the rest of us that by the way she's a socialist right so she didn't start with <laughs> like she wanted to make it clear with you guys that like before I defend myself let me be clear who's accusing me of these of racism a socialist I mean come on guys a socialist can you believe a socialist like I don't understand we, why did she spend three minutes talking about how, how she's a socialist so 